Well, good day, everybody. I'm Russ Reed, and I'm the Executive Director of the National Center for the Biotechnology Workforce. And with me today is Sean Killebrew from our media. Sean, hi, how you doing? Doing good, Russ. Good to see you. Did you have a good summer? That was fantastic. How about you? Oh, it was great. Thanks very much. Became a grandfather for the first time. That was nice. Oh, fantastic. Congratulations. Yeah. Sean, we're back at SciTech. Can you believe we it? We are. It's good to be back. Yeah. And we have a spectacular guest today, Dr. Gretel Hunsker from Cordova, uh, Argentina. Gretel, welcome to SciTech. Oh, thank you so much, Raz. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Gretel, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from exactly? And how did you come to Foresight Tech? OK, so I work in at the Villa Maria University in Cordoba land in Argentina. And we have there a collaboration with some college here. So we have an international program which collaborates with some college and university uh, in the whole world. Um, in 2018, uh, some people from the Forsyth Tech College and the Davison College uh, came to my country and I gave them a talk. So I give I give them a call. So I then I was I was invited to come over here. Um, I was really lucky because uh, so far I'm having a great experience. So yeah, I say yes, <laughs> and I'm here now. So you're you're a, you're on a Fulbright uh, a Fulbright yeah. scholarship, right? So you're a, mm -hmm. technically a Fulbright fellow. Yeah, uh, I became part of that community for the first time. So we applied, and fortunately, we got the scholarship. And it's only it's not only about uh, being here teaching biology. So I am a biologist. My my PhD was in biology. So I not only uh, teach in biology, but I also have to participate in different activities. So I will be giving some talks about women in science, and I will be involved in international uh, events, for example. And um, yeah, uh, some other people invited me to give some other kind of talks about sustainability. So yeah, it's oh, about, uh, sorry, it's about lecturing and uh, being immersed into the culture. Right, well, welcome to Foresight Tech. And I know the other day we had the pleasure of having you over here at the National Center for the Biotechnology Workforce. And, uh, you know, I think you had a, an opportunity to uh, talk with our staff. And at the same time, you were able to visit our lovely lab here. So thank you for coming and joining us. I uh, really appreciate that. Sean, uh, I think you have a question for Dr. Hunsinger. I'd just like to say we're so glad to have you with us. And uh, we can't can't wait to see uh, what you do with the program here for the next nine months. But I really want to know, what is the mission of the Fulbright Fellowship? So, uh, as I said, we are kind of trying to be immersed in the American culture. And we also like to share our culture with you so that you can really get to know us. And I say us because I came he here with my two kids. So it's the family stuff now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I will try to give of all my experience as much as I can. And I will also try to get as much as you can from all, all my environment. Oh, well, that's just fantastic. Okay. Uh, Russ, I'll throw it back to you. Great. Um, so, Gretel, you have nine more months here. Um, what kinds of things would you like to accomplish while you're here? So, I would like to get to know as many people as I can in order to, to continue the collaboration that we already established and to get new ones as well. Uh, also, in the biotechnology field, you know, with the industries, because I 
I am a professor at the university, but I also a principal in one high school, which is very technologically orientated. So I would really love to to be in contact with some industry and see how biotechnology is um, teach here. Yeah. So uh, that is one of my first aims. Um, of course, these kind of collaborations will mean maybe to to bring some full rights to my college, to my university. Sorry. So. Is, I, am, I am the first Fulbright at the Forsyth Tech College, so we are doing also a kind of first experience here, and I think we will all learn about that. Well, that would, that would be great, and you know, if there's anything we can do to help you, we, we will really try to do that for you and make your experience here a great one. And uh, do you have any questions for us? Uh, what I would like to ask you about uh, in which kind of collaboration have you been involved in the last years? Um, which kind of uh, community programs do you have? So, uh, Sean, do you, you want to take a stab at that? I, I, I know exactly what's on my mind. Take it away, Russ. Well, we, we have a lot of community programs, and I guess it really depends on what you're speaking to. Uh, but if I think about what we do at the, at the center, um, we have um, a program that uh, through the National Science Foundation, where we're able to be in contact with uh, approximately 120 colleges across the country. And uh, we look at um, uh, biotechnology and specifically we look at either education or we look at the workforce component. And uh, we tend to do community meetings, and so we're, it's very engaging. In fact, um, we call it the Innovate Bio community. And so this is exactly what we do. We, we connect with those co other colleges. We work together on um, either some sort of research project or some sort of project that looks at the skills that technical people need when they're working um, either in a lab or in a biomanufacturing facility. Uh, and we learn about new instrumentation. And more specifically here, as you saw last week when you came over to visit the lab, we have a spectacular lab run by Dr. Jason Gagliano. And uh, Dr. Gagliano really likes to have students and companies come into the lab and be able to use the lab uh, and learn. And so, you know, th that's the way that we interact with the community. And one of the ways that we also have interacted with the community in the past, we will hold meetings and uh, we'll invite people to come in and to be able to see our facilities, uh, maybe have a lunch with us and maybe discuss our programs because our programs are very industry oriented. So when, when we do something, we do it with industry and we do it so that it's industry vetted. So that's how we operate. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Well, Dr. Hunsinger, I want to thank you so much for joining us today on SciTech. And we're very excited about your next nine months here at Foresight Tech. And uh, you know that the door is always open here uh, at, down in the Innovation Quarter at 525 Vine for you to come over. And you know the lab is here too. So, and I know you're excited by our lab. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> So thank you for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk with you. <laughs> and Sean, I'm looking forward to the SciTechs that we'll have this year. Um, got, got a great lineup. We'll have to talk about it offline, but uh, got a lot of students who have graduated who are in their jobs now, and they're going to come and talk about their jobs that they're doing. And so I'm very excited by that. Fantastic. Me too. And I think I think we may have some administrative people coming in too from the administration. That's always fun. We love when administration people come in. So Definitely. I'm looking forward to a very exciting SciTech for this academic year. I think Thank you both. Great.